Um, Kakashi is also asking, hey, I had a question for Susanna. Is Christianity worse or Islam? Um, it, so there are many ways that you can answer this question. You could ask about, um, do we look at these faiths uh, from a textual basis? Do we look at the fundaments of their scripture and then make that judgment? Um, or do we look at um, the most dangerous aspects of those faiths that are manifested in the world um, today? Um, difficult questions. And I think if I was to take the texts in their fundaments, they're both really bad. <laughs> um, I still think Islam would be worse. Um, if I'm looking at it and which religion has, um, is, is worse in its role in the world today, that's very difficult as well. Um, there are two ways that I would answer this question. Um, one would be, um, body count. Two would be influence. Okay. So from the perspective of body count, I would say Islam and other, other aspects of it as well. From the aspect of influence, I would say Christianity, because um, uh, Christian traditionalism, Christian nationalism has a stronghold, stranglehold on the Republican Party um, today. And the Republican Party has outsized global influence in comparison to, you know, even the thousands of Islamist or militant groups around the world. Um, well, those thousands of groups um, might kill more people, which is obviously very harmful and worse in that sense. Um, the GOP has global influence and implications. Um, yeah, I, so I could, I answer that in many different ways. I just want to address this again, Carlo with the bad takes today. <laughs> Sorry. St. Christianity is a passive, a passive, is it pacifist in its text? People betray this, this pacifism. It's Get ready for all. Armin yelling. No, no, I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to yell. But just like you're, you're complete, like you read the New Testament. It's not at all pacifist. Okay. I mean, it doesn't get any more clear. Jesus said, I'm not here. Like Jesus specifically said, I'm not here to bring priests. I'm here to bring the sword. Like he specifically said that. Like if he specifically says that Out I'm here context, to turn a father. Armin. He specifically said I'm here to turn, uh, take a father against his son, a mother against his daughter, right? Uh, you know, uh, family against themselves, right? I mean, if you also want to add the Old Testament, then becomes actually more directly genocidal than even the Quran, right? They it specifically tells you the Bible specifically tells you to wipe out an entire ethnicity, including the women and children, right? It specifically says to even kill their children. It says that to wipe them out. And again, the New Testament, the, the Christianity. Okay, so you might say that's the Old Testament. So first of all, the New Testament specifically says that it's not here to bring peace, but the sword. The Old Testament. The God is uh, the God of the Old Testament is a God that told you to kill, uh, to wipe out an entire group of uh, the Malachites, including their children. Right? It tells you uh, to wipe the ba baby's heads to the rock and be happy about it. Right? Like that's what you're supposed to. That's that's the pacifist religion. And if you think that's a, that's the old that's the Old Testament again, I mentioned what's in the New Testament. But Christianity comes with the belief that Jesus is the same God as the God of the Old Testament. So that whoever gave those commands, that is Jesus. There's no way anybody could look at Christianity and say that's a, that's a pacifist uh, religion. You have no understanding of Christianity if you believe that. Um. Yeah. I thought you were going to yell about uh, other stuff like the tree. I love it when you the yell tree. about the tree. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, the, because I'm talking about, because that I, I only bring up the uh, Jesus cursing the tree when they say like Jesus was a good middle, like hippie dippy nice guy. But because we're talking about pacifism, I don't think a tree cursing a tree mm -hmm. violates that because trees are not like, do not have, race or anything that's just so that How that's, dare you, that's just sir that's that you. story just, that story just shows that jesus was insane like a maniac like a madman okay 
I mean, okay, another thing about pacifism. He whipped people in the temple for doing business because this is my daddy's house. This is my daddy's house. My daddy's house. I'm like, how dare you? You're like, like, who do you think you are? Like, this Assaulting is like your people. Place. Like, yeah, my Damaging their house. property. Temple people are doing business here. Get lost. Like, why was he arrested for that? Like, we was whipping people. People are trying to make a living. My daddy's house. Like, what the... What the hell am I? Am I like you, you are so full of yourself to think like this. Oh, it's a temple, and I'm so special, and this is my dad's house. You're just claiming the area and whipping people for just doing business. And then shocked when he, your your group of followers <laughs> aren't dad, very much appreciated. This is my dad's house. Get out of here. My dad's house. Like what the hell? How did he not get beaten up there? Like actually, I think other <laughs> actually. Now that I think about it, I think the people who were the pacifists were his, like the people who are surrounding him. How was he not beaten up? How did he manage to go and like turn people's tables and whip people around? And people were like, oh my God, they ran away. Like if he did that right now, he would like, how did he not get his nose bloody from all doing all of that? Like did, there, were, there were more of them than him. Anyways. Yeah, actually other people were the pacifists. See, that's what I was waiting for. I love it when you rant about Jesus. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.